Hello, Raja. Hi. What guys. school did you go to? I went to the community college. I got my associate's degree in mechanical engineering, and now I am a paleontologist by trade. What an what animal is this? This is a dinosaur. What dinosaur is this? Yeah, a Phidosaurus rex. And what was closely it? related to the Tyrannosaurus rex, which is that one over there with a long neck. Strictly ah. vegetarian. Uh, they lay eggs. See, you can see them there. They're gonna hatch soon. What is the primary diet of this dinosaur? Uh, its own eggs. It's like an endless cycle, basically. It eats, uh, it poops the eggs out, and it eats them, and then does it again till it dies. It won't really leave this spot ever till it dies. Is this the hibernation that it goes into? Yes. Yeah, as you can tell, it's like thirty something degrees out, so it's chilly. My hand is cold. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's go over here. Okay, so here we are at the dinosaur number two. This is a uh, daddy long neck. You may know him from Instagram. This is his dinosaur phase, one of his descendants. Uh, we were able to bring him back to life by using some pretty cool technology and uh, a mosquito. Uh, we did it first, not that stupid Jurassic Park place, so don't uh, listen to them. As you can tell, they're all females. You gotta look at the genitals under there. There aren't any. We did that on purpose. And yeah. So this guy, he primarily eats tree branches and uh, moths. Yeah, moths and sometimes they get bees stuck in their throat. We'll go over that in a sec because this guy over here actually has some bees in his throat. So I'll take a look. Watch out for the dinosaur poop. <laughs> Here's some dinosaur poop if you want to take a look. They don't poop too big, you know, it's about the size of my foot. Lots of little nuggets in there. If you're ever found lost in the wilderness, you can eat those nuggets. How long have you been researching dinosaurs, Roger? Uh, a couple months now, so I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. Should we be careful with this one? No, not at all. Look at him, he's friendly. <laughs> He's, uh, as you can tell, we've been feeding him a little extra, so he's a little on the heavy side, but that's okay. That's okay. It's a cold winter. They're all their hibernative state right now. I can show you guys a cool trick to see this one get along so well. Stick my head in his mouth. He won't even bite. How you doing, Roger? Oh, 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 oh. This is what I was talking about, folks. Bees in their throat. You thought I was making that up. I have not. So as you can see here, these barking got him. Obviously the color palette is for camouflage, but these lumps right here are actually mosquito bites from pretty treacherous mosquitoes. Um, their, their needles are sharp enough to pierce through their armor-like skin. Um, they suck out a little bit of blood and then they go out, they throw it up and they do it again. That's why he has so many, the poor little feller. <laughs> Uh, yeah, those are uh, dinosaur research. Are there mainly any herbivores that like to live in the forest that... Nope. Wikipedia has shown files that there's a Stegosaurus nest around here. You, you want to go see it? Is there anything I should know or be aware of upon approaching? Uh, not really. I would usually, I just run right at them, you know, and give a little startle. Then they realize it's me, they're so excited, and they start chasing me around. It's like a game, you know, they never let them catch me, though. Are there any known deaths by this dinosaur? Uh, she's, a, she's a little timid at first, but when you really get to know her, she warms up pretty well. Um, the most dangerous part of this animal is actually the spikes. Oh, just laid out a poop, but watch out. It's actually the spikes on the tail. Now, these things can impale a human being, and basically carry around their rotting corpse until it rots right off their body. So you're gonna wanna watch out for those. Try not to eat too many branches in front of her because she's very territorial with her food supply. Obviously we're no strangers in giving her her food supply, but uh, dinosaurs have quite an appetite. This food could run out any minute now. What brings about this stasis that all of them are in currently? Uh, tranquilizers. Um, 
we knew you guys were coming to film a little uh, a little documentary, so we had to calm down a little bit. It's the my own recipe. It's really safe for animals. I just melt down a bunch of uh, one milligram Xanax and I inject it into their their necks. Thank you so much, Roger, for this tour today. Do you think there's a possible chance that I could pet one? Oh yeah, go right ahead. Would you mind documenting it? Not at all. Easy now. Don't startle her. Go ahead. Go ahead. Like this. Like that, yeah. You've really never lived until you've pet a dinosaur. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? Wow. It really makes you think about dinosaurs. Yeah. And Usually when I work with the dinosaurs, I think about dinosaurs. Oh, wow. This is very surreal. A changed person. Oh, did she get you? Did she get you? So, thanks for the tour today. Of course. Do you think... 